This is the Kinzhal hypersonic missile, which means dagger in Russian. Attached to a MiG-31 Foxhound, as you can see it can carry only one missile. Or it can also be fitted to carry six missile, ready to launch from the Tupolev-22 bomber. It consists of around seven basic parts, and we will be also looking into the interiors of what it might look like from the propulsion to the warhead. And not to forget the basic step-by-step -step process of how the missile might work from platform launching to the delivery of payload. But the main question, is it really a hypersonic missile? We'll let our valuable audience decide, so stay tuned and don't miss a beat. But what is a hypersonic missile? A hypersonic missile is any projectile that travels at 5 to 25 times the speed of sound. That is Mach 5 above. These missiles are extremely fast and far harder for surface-to-air missile defense systems to target like the Patriot missile. And they should also be able to travel zigzag or random paths to confuse radar tracking. There are many kinds of hypersonic missiles, like the American Air Breathing Scramjet missile, which is still under testing. But it has an astronomical cost of $15 million or more for one missile. While the Kinzel cost around $4 to $5 million, but this is not a suitable comparison, since the American missile can hit speeds of around Mach 15 to 18. It is also to be noted this missile is similar to the Iskander ballistic missiles developed during the Soviet era. Let's compare them side by side. As you can see, these are very similar, as some analysts believed that they even borrowed most of their parts from the Iskander land-based ballistic missiles. Comparing this to a person will help you understand its size and visually, it looks bigger than we can imagine. Let's look at its cross-section. This is what we believe it might look like so take this animation with a grain of salt. Starting from the bottom is the ejection pod, which we will be explained further in the video ahead. The second part consists of steerable fins that are attached to these jet vanes. The third part of the missile is the rocket motor. As we move higher, we will find the guidance section of the missile. And the last part is the warhead section weighing around 500 kilograms or 1100 pounds. All this engineering helps the missile reach an astonishing terminal speed of Mach 12, which is around 14,700 km per hour or 9,207 miles per hour. It was reported to have a range of 2,000 km or 1,242 miles. Let's look at how this works. Step number one. The missile requires a platform, such as the MiG-31 Foxhound, which is a long-range supersonic interceptor. This jet can go up to a maximum speed of Mach 1.4 at low altitudes. Step number two. The pilot releases the missiles and the protective cap ejects at a safe distance. Step number three. After a few seconds, the engines of the missile ignite and flies to reach supersonic speed. Step number four. This is a tricky one as very little is known about it. We might look at three versions of what the missile could have work. Version 1. The missile's first stage disengages allowing the last stage to travel to its target in a random or zigzag path to confuse the radar system. Combined with the hypersonic speed of the missiles, it pack a punch when it hits the target along with the warhead, creating a lot of damage. Version 2. A nuclear warhead could also be attached to this supersonic missile. It might also eject the covers and pops out the warhead. This enables it to be lighter and fly a longer distance in a random path. Version 3. The missile might just flies to its target without disengaging the first stage and used only the fins and guidance system, just like any normal missile. No doubt this is an engineering masterpiece. That is a very capable missile, but some analysts believe this is not a hypersonic projectile, as it was also reported to have been destroyed by a Patriot missile system, animated in our recent video, that interestingly has a speed of Mach 3 or Mach 5, which technically enters the Patriot missile into the hypersonic group of missiles. Leaving politics aside, drop in some inputs from an engineering point of view of how it might have worked. So please do us a solid by subscribing as we make original 3D animation from scratch, just like this British Challenger tank fire control system and the engineering behind it.